Hi, Gavin. What's up, Dave? Hey, I was wondering, is it a little bit easier to wake up in the morning coming off your first career Grand Slam the previous night? Uh, yeah, I slept pretty good last night. Um, I actually slept in late, too. So, uh, yeah, I think I, I got a good night's sleep. Uh, probably better than I have in the last month, month and a half. Yeah, those are the perks, I guess. But what, what's, <laughs> been, uh, what's been allowing you to play the way that you've played this month it, it looks familiar from what we saw in spring training yeah I think um just coming off the IL and, and the more at bats um I get I feel like always the more comfortable I get um so more consistent at bats I think uh it just helps me get my rhythm and timing down and um just figure some things out in the box especially when guys slide step and guys that mess with timing like uh these are guys that I need to face just to to figure out stuff on my own and um, I just think the more consistent at bats I get, uh, the better I usually feel. I saw you last night after that grand slam on the railing talking to Albert. Do you believe that you could benefit from him being just around? Yeah, absolutely. A hundred percent. Albert is one of the best to ever do it. And I, I grew up idolizing him for sure. So um, just baseball talks like that up against the rail during the game, just picking his brain. I mean, like I said, he's one of the best to ever do it. So um, it's pr a pretty special opportunity and chance that probably all of us get just to, to be able to pick his brain and, and see what he's, uh, what he's got because he's been doing it for a long time and um, he's one of the best. So, Thanks, Gavin. Yep. Next question is from Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Hey, Gavin, uh, after the game last night, Chris Taylor was saying he thinks you've been more uh, – he sees more aggression in your swing and you're less passive at the plate, and that's when you're at your best. How and when do you feel like you're able to find that balance? Yeah, I think just being on time with the pitcher always helps. Um, usually if your mechanical thoughts creep into your head while you're hitting, it might take away from your timing, and, and I think that might, might have been happened, happening to me a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, I think, um, just not being in between pitches and, and, and being a hundred percent sold on, on your plan and approach once you get into the box and, um, you can't be in between, uh, it's, it's hard enough to hit here. And, um, if you're in between, it just makes it even harder. So, uh, being on time and, um, sticking to your game plan and not wavering from it. It had been, it's been about two years since you've played shortstop regularly. Uh, how has that transition gone for you and what are, if any, are the challenges of moving over uh, there at this level? Um, yeah, I feel pretty comfortable over there, just growing up there, coming up to the minor leagues. And uh, during ground ball work every day, I, I usually try to bounce around. I'll take ground balls at third, take ground balls at short, second, uh, wherever it may be, just uh, you never know. So um, the more familiar with the more positions you can be, the better. And um, that's kind of with, especially with all the shifts that we do, um, you're, you're in some weird spots. So uh, the more comfortable you can get uh, at these different spots, the better. Thanks. Next question from Eric Steven, go ahead. Gavin, uh, just wondering, I guess earlier when you were going through some slumps, uh, is it something where you have to kind of see the results to get out of this, to uh, feel good about coming out of the slump or do you, sometimes, you know, hit a ball well or something that it might get caught that you can feel something that uh, you might think something's coming after that? Yeah, uh, I think whenever you can see results up on the scoreboard, it always helps your confidence a little bit. But um, you got to keep rolling in your own head and, and, and know that, that uh, some of the hits are going to start falling. It's, it's easier said than done. But, um, yeah, I, whether you can – get a bleeder infield hit or a blooper, uh, all that helps. So uh, you can kind of take whatever you can get. And uh, going back to just playing short again, uh, is there anything that changes in your daily routine? You mentioned taking ground balls uh, there previously. Anything changes in that regard? Um, no, not really. Uh, still just taking ground balls at short. Um, we play in the six hole a lot, so it's just a longer throw. So making sure my arm's stretched out and, and – um, whenever I get a chance to go in the six hole, uh, you know, make sure that, that that's all good, but it's just a longer throw. So in, in your routine, just, just stretching it out a little more. Thanks. Yep. Next question from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. 
Yeah, Gavin, swinging with more confidence and aggressiveness and being more comfortable at the plate all sound like more mental than technical adjustments. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, I, I would say that. Um, a lot of it is timing and, and rhythm, and that's kind of a lot of my – Stuff with my swing is rhythm and timing based. So uh, if that's not on par or if I'm thinking other stuff and my uh, my thoughts are all over the place, that takes away from the rhythm and timing of my swing. And, and I think those are the two biggest components of it. And uh, if that's not right, um, I'm not going to be right. So, uh, yeah. We've talked about this in the past with you, but the, the whole – uh, I guess, burden of being such a uh, top prospect with such high expectations. Has that weighed on you when when you weren't getting the results? No, I don't think so. I, I think I've, I've always believed in, in myself. And um, so I don't think it ever really wavered. But um, last year was a grind, obviously. And then you're going to go through slumps and, and, and streaks where you're not feeling so good. It's it's a 162 game season for a reason. So um, it's nothing that, that we all don't know. And uh, you know, you're going to go through months and weeks where you don't feel good and you got to grind it out and then compete and find ways to, to still barrel a ball or move a guy over. So um, that's really been uh, my whole thought process. And Dave kept saying during spring training that you were going to get a good runway to play regularly. Did you, when you were slumping a little bit, did you ever worry how long that runway might be? No, I don't think so. Um, you know, we uh, baseball's already hard enough. So, uh, if you have any any doubts or any uh, any worries, it's going to affect your play. So, I always just try to keep an even roller coaster. And it's easier said than done, for sure. But um, I always try to to keep that out of my head, for sure. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Fabian Ardaya. Go ahead. Hey, Gavin, uh, when you talk about your swing being a lot about like rhythm and timing base, I guess, like what indicators do you like rely on to sort of lock that back in? Or like, how do you lock that back in? Is it just more at bats? Yeah, I think the more at bat, the kind of more I figure out on, um, on pitchers and when I need to get going. And a lot of my thought is, is with my hands and, and my hands almost dancing with the pitcher when he's uh, in his windup or out of the stretch, whatever it is, it's, dancing with the pitcher uh, with my hands and starting with my hands. So um, that's kind of been a good cue for me lately and uh, kind of just trying to get through the baseball with my lower half. I was kind of stuck for a while um, on my backside. So those are the two really big things that I've been kind of focal pointing on, I guess. Would you say like it's a combination of that sort of stuff along with maybe some of the freedom that Dave said that you've been feeling to be yourself that sort of led you to impact the baseball a little bit more often? Yeah, definitely. I think whenever you have a clear mind, um, you can just focus on on your game plan and approach and what he's trying to do to you. And um, the mental freedom is definitely a big thing, and, and it always helps. Thanks, Gavin. we got time for one more. Go ahead, Michael. Hey, Gavin, and you may have already answered or addressed this in answering these other questions, but in that 2019 season when, you know, you were up in, in Tulsa and, and OKC and, you know, on a tear – how close, or uh, what did that feel like when you were at the peak of that? And how close do you feel like you are now to then? Uh, yeah, I think it was just you're kind of unconscious. You know, you're you're not really uh, so worried about your mechanics. You're kind of just going out and playing, and and you're not worried about the results, or you're not worried about your stats. You're just literally going out and playing baseball, and um, that's kind of where I feel like I'm at right now. And um, the mental freedom's big, but just going out and, and having fun playing baseball. I mean, that's really been a big point for me. And um, I think it's given me some freedom for sure.